Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of Dino Times. I'm your guys' host, Dakota Morgan, coming to you from Phoenix, Arizona. And today, we are talking about one of the crocodilian dinosaurs. We are talking about the Suchomimus. I want to go over some quick facts, you guys, because Suchomimus is making its way in the paleo media circuit, one might say, because of Jurassic World Chaos Theory Season 2 coming out, and as well as Season 1 as of this recording. So let's go over some quick facts about the Suchomimus. And as a crocodilian, I don't know, as a guy who took care of crocodilians for a few years, I kind of have, I'm sort of biased towards the crocodilian dinosaurs. Now going into it, the name in Greek actually means crocodile mimic. Of course, though, it was a carnivore from the early Cretaceous period, and it belonged in the Spinosauridae family, such as most crocodilian dinosaurs, such as Baryonyx, Spinosaurus, Suchomimus, Irritator, stuff like that. Now the type species is Suchomimus terrensis. And of course, so like more, most Spinosaur dinosaurs, this long, elongated snout did allow for its diet of fish, eels, and other small uh, critters that you'd find in the water as well, because this guy did hunt in the water. Suchomimus could reach 31 to 36 feet in length and was a pretty whopping 2.8 to 4.2 short ton, aka it is going to obliterate you in the water. And similar to Baryonyx, which we'll get to in a second here, it had large thumb claws on both hands. Found in 1997 by Paul Serrano in the country of Niger. And we actually don't know the age of this specimen, so it's really difficult to tell with the holotype and other pieces found to be able to tell what age the Suchomimus is that we do have. So it's hard to tell if we have a juvenile, an adult, or how large it actually truly gotten. But we're doing rough estimates with great calculations. And a little fun fact though about its teeth, it had 122 canonical teeth. So the fish are getting obliterated by this guy. And there is some debate, though, that because of where the area that it was found and similarities to the Baryonyx, there is some paleontologists who do believe that it is actually just a and the African version of the Baryonyx. A, this is a different location, different type of biome of, that, of the Baryonyx, which isn't uncommon in dinosaur species to see. And that's some quick facts about these Suchomimus. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like. Comment down below, of course. It helps us out greatly. But of course, to subscribe for more Dino Times, other paleo content, video games, and much more nerdy, go nerdy goodness. I've been your guys' host, Dakota Morgan Company from Phoenix, Arizona. And remember, folks, science is real.